This will be a quick demonstration of starting to use the Echo Active Learning Platform. You see I'm logged into Learn Online or Moodle. I will scroll down in my course to find the link to join the Echo Active Learning Platform in this particular course. I'll click that link. The first time you do that, you'll be asked to confirm your name, your email address, and enter a password. I will just do that now. This is a completely new password. This password will be used to enter the Active Learning Platform, but normally you will enter that from Learn Online, so you won't even need it. You'll just need to log in to Learn Online. Then create account. Once we've set up our account in the Active Learning Platform, you can just click on the link to the Active Learning Platform in a Moodle course, and it will go directly into that uh, the Active Learning Platform. You will be then shown a list of the courses and then the classes within those courses. Here we've only got one class held on Wednesday, January the 22nd. If I click this, I can see a link that says View in the Classroom. I will then go into that particular class. Here we've got the notes panel open. We'll just close that. Now we can just page through the slides in that class, or we could click on this and see all of the slides in the class. We will just look at one slide. Here we've got a number of tools available. This one allows us to take notes. It will just open up a pane on the side and you'll see the notes are synchronized with the individual slide. I'll just close that panel. We can also ask a question. The lecturer or other students will be able to see this. And then I could post that as an anonymous question. And I could post it in relation to one slide or just a general uh, question. I could also click on the questions and look at the responses that are already being made. I could give it a thumbs up. I could also respond to that question if I wanted to. We'll just close the question panel. I could also flag a slide as confusing and the lecturer would then see that as a confusing uh, slide. I could also flag a slide as important. So you'll see there are a number of tools within the Active Learning Platform. Sometimes you'll, there will be interactive slides that you can respond to. I've already responded here by selecting these two alternatives. I might decide to edit my answer and just select alternative B, and then I could submit that. The lecturer could then display that result uh, during the uh, uh, lecture. So you'll see the Active Learning Platform has got lots of features, lots of tools to encourage you to uh, more actively engage with the uh, course content.